conflict between FSB and Russian army brewing. Russian President Vladimir Putin fears a conflict between Russia's FSB Federal Security Service and the country's military is imminent. Ukrainian international relations expert Ivan Yakovina revealed on Radio NV. In Russia, there isn't yet panic, of course. Let's not exaggerate, but there is a significant level of concern. Yakovina told NV, the Russian military command is growing increasingly apprehensive as it recognizes that the situation is unfolding in an unfavorable direction for them. In fact, the situation is quite bad. What does that mean? Ukrainian forces have successfully taken back the village of Urizen. This gives them the opportunity to keep moving south into the Azov region, and they have two options for the next steps. One option is to move towards Mariupol and Volnovaka. The other choice is to head back to Berdyansk. By the way, Berdyansk has been hit by heavy shelling multiple times in the last few days. The Russian military bases in Berdyansk are already quite damaged. Robotine has also been liberated. However, fighting is still happening on its southern outskirts. Beyond Robotine is the town of Tokmak, and after Tokmak comes Melitopol. Basically, this is the same direction that everyone initially thought was really important and strategic. So, why is Ukraine succeeding in their offensive? Well, Ukraine now has new types of weapons, and on top of that, the Russian army is extremely worn out, he said. The FSB is likely the most informed organization in Russia. They really understand what's happening inside the country. Their understanding of other countries might not be as spot on, but they can see that the war isn't going well and it's moving towards a defeat. They've noticed that Shoigu and Gerasimov are struggling in the war, unable to make significant progress. The losses are massive and there aren't enough replacements for them. So they're saying we need to act fast. We need to declare a state of war, otherwise everything might be lost. And naturally, they're also saying that Shoigu and Gerasimov should be removed from their positions.